Welcome to today's Bible study. We're going to explore one of the most profound and comforting passages in the New Testament, Romans 8 verses 38 to 39. These verses speak to the unshakable, unconditional love of God. In a world where love often seems conditional and fleeting, understanding and experiencing God's love can transform our lives. Let's dive deep into these verses and discover the depth, power, and impact of God's unconditional love. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing, will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Before we unpack these specific verses, it's essential to understand the broader context of Romans 8. This chapter is a powerful exposition on life in the Spirit. Paul, the Apostle, begins by declaring that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. He then explains the work of the Holy Spirit in freeing believers from the power of sin and death, enabling them to live according to God's will. As the chapter progresses, Paul speaks of the future glory that awaits believers and the current help provided by the Holy Spirit. He assures believers that God works all things for good, for those who love Him and are called according to His purpose. This culminates in a triumphant declaration of God's everlasting love, which we find in Romans 8 verses 38 to 39. Understanding God's Love Paul's declaration in Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 is a crescendo of assurance about the steadfast love of God. To fully appreciate this, we must understand the nature of God's love. The love of God, as described in the Bible, is a gape love. This is an unconditional, selfless, and sacrificial love that seeks the best for the loved one. It's not based on emotions or feelings but on a deliberate choice to love. God's love is unconditional. One of the most critical aspects of God's love is its unconditional nature. Human love often comes with conditions. We love others because of their qualities, actions, or how they make us feel. But God's love is different. It doesn't depend on our behavior, worthiness, or ability to reciprocate. God loves us because He is love, 1 John 4 verse 8. Paul's confidence that nothing can separate us from God's love stems from this truth. Our failures, sins, and weaknesses cannot diminish God's love for us. He loved us even when we were sinners, Romans 5 verse 8, and His love remains steadfast regardless of our circumstances. God's love is sacrificial. The greatest demonstration of His love is the sacrifice of His Son, Jesus Christ. John 3 verse 16 tells us that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. This sacrificial love was demonstrated on the cross, where Jesus bore our sins and took our place. In Romans 8 verse 32, Paul reminds us that God did not spare His own Son but gave Him up for us all. If God was willing to make such a significant sacrifice for us, we can be confident that His love is unwavering and eternal. Analyzing Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 with this understanding of God's love, let's break down Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 to grasp its full significance. For I am persuaded. Paul begins with a strong affirmation of his conviction. The word persuaded indicates a deep, settled confidence. This is not a fleeting belief or a hopeful assumption, it is a firm assurance based on Paul's experience and understanding of God's character and promises that neither death nor life. Paul starts by addressing the extremes of human existence, death and life. Death, often viewed as the ultimate separation, cannot separate us from God's love. Life, with all its trials, temptations, and uncertainties, also cannot sever God's love for us. Whether we face the end of our earthly journey or the complexities of daily life, God's love remains constant. 
nor angels, nor principalities. Next, Paul refers to spiritual beings. Angels are typically seen as God's messengers, while principalities often refer to demonic powers or rulers. Regardless of their influence or power, they are incapable of separating us from God's love. This assurance highlights the supremacy of God's love over all spiritual forces. Nor things present, nor things to come. Paul then addresses time, the present and the future. Our current circumstances, no matter how challenging, and future events, no matter how uncertain, cannot affect God's love for us. This assurance provides a profound sense of security, knowing that God's love is timeless and eternal. Nor powers, nor height, nor depth. Here Paul refers to any other powers or forces, whether they be physical, natural, or supernatural. Height and depth could symbolize any extreme or obstacle in the physical or spiritual realm. Regardless of how high the mountain or how deep the valley, God's love reaches us. Nor any other created thing. Finally, Paul includes a catch-all phrase, nor any other created thing. This encompasses everything in creation, ensuring that nothing is left out. No created thing has the power to separate us from the love of God. The love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Paul concludes by reminding us that this inseparable love is found in Christ Jesus our Lord. It's through Jesus that we experience the fullness of God's love. His life, death, and resurrection are the ultimate expressions of God's love for humanity. Living in the Assurance of God's Love Understanding the depth and unshakable nature of God's love has profound implications. Here are a few practical ways to live in the assurance of God's love. Rest in God's love Knowing that nothing can separate us from God's love should bring us immense peace and security. We can rest in the assurance that we are loved by God, regardless of our circumstances or performance. This frees us from striving for approval and allows us to live confidently in God's grace. Respond with love. As recipients of God's unconditional love, we are called to love others in the same way. Jesus commanded us to love one another as he has loved us, John 13 verse 34. This means loving others selflessly, sacrificially, and unconditionally. When we understand and experience God's love, it naturally overflows into our relationships with others. Face challenges with confidence. Life is full of challenges, but knowing that God's love is constant gives us the strength to face them. Whether we encounter trials, opposition, or uncertainty, we can trust that God's love will sustain us. His love is our anchor in the storms of life, providing stability and hope. Share God's love. The assurance of God's love compels us to share it with others. As we experience His love, we become witnesses of His grace and mercy. We can share the message of God's love with those around us, inviting them to experience the same assurance and security in Christ. Live with eternal perspective. Finally, understanding the eternal nature of God's love helps us live with an eternal perspective. We are reminded that our ultimate home is with God, where His love will be fully realized and experienced. This perspective shapes our priorities, decisions, and how we live each day. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 offers us one of the most powerful assurances in Scripture. Nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. This unshakable, unconditional love is the foundation of our faith and the source of our strength and confidence. As we live in the assurance of God's love, may we rest in His grace, respond with love, face challenges with confidence, share His love with others, and live with an eternal perspective. Remember, God's love is constant, unwavering, and eternal. Nothing can separate us from His love. Amen.